As promised, we turn now to health news tonight. At least two million Americans every year end up with infections while and because they are hospitalized. Now there is increasing concern about a newly virulent strain of a very common germ that we all actually carry. Our report from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. Billie Jean Barger came close to dying a few years ago when she picked up an infection called C. difficile at a Florida health care facility. It was just terrible. And her daughter, Elizabeth, says she has suffered continuing debilitating attacks since. In the first year, she was in and out of the hospital nine separate times. C. difficile, or C. diff, has emerged in recent years in a new strain, a superbug. The Centers for Disease Control estimates that half a million Americans a year are now getting sick, mostly at hospitals and nursing homes. In terms of deaths, uh, it's probably at least 10,000, uh, actually more likely 15,000. It could be even as high as 30,000. Everyone carries C. diff in their intestine. When patients get antibiotics to kill other germs, the C. diff, which can hibernate in hardy spore form, can break out as severe diarrhea. One of the big problems is that Purell and other alcohol-based hand sanitizers that are widely used don't kill C. diff spores. In fact, they may encourage their growth. The solution? Washing hands with old-fashioned soap and water. At the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York, which has an excellent infection control record, there is constant washing with soap, water, and disinfectant, and monitoring for C. diff. Infected patients go immediately into isolation. That all of our caregivers wear gowns and gloves when caring for the patient, and they wash their hands with soap and water uh, at every patient interaction. Another key to controlling C. diff, experts say, is to use antibiotics only when they are absolutely necessary. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.